Hey guys, welcome to another time trial guide. This one is for the week 2 Ascendant Challenge Forfeit Shrine. This one is ridiculously easy, especially if you're anywhere remotely close to 600 power. And as you'll see in the footage upon beating it, I didn't get the triumph in this recording because I actually had gotten it the first time this came around, when I was only 524 light. It's the only Ascendant Challenge I actually had gotten the time trial by accident, so it can't be that hard. I'd say this is probably easiest on the classes Sunbreaker, Dawnblade and Blade Barrage. You'll see here in a few minutes that I decimated the knights with my super and I mean the game gives you infinite supers if you step into that well of light so the only part you can really save any time on is killing the knights. The orbs spawn in the same location every time so just run around to get them, kill the phalanx that spawns in front of the orb, just run back and dunk it in the middle. If you're lower power and are getting killed by the phalanxes that spawn in the middle when you're trying to dunk the orb, save your grenade for them. And if you're really having trouble, you could even use exotics like Frosties or Hallow Fire Heart to have grenades for the middle all the time. But I honestly doubt you'll have too much of an issue with those guys. If you're really struggling, bring a friend to just clear out those phalanxes in the middle or help you get the orbs faster. Again, if you're anywhere close to 600, you'll be fine. Just jump over their heads. Dunk the three orbs in the middle and then all the knights will spawn as usual. It's going to be the fastest on a hunter with blade barrage, so if you have all three characters leveled up use your hunter for the time trial it's way easier trust me a wave of a thousand cuts just shreds the knights apart probably better than any other super that's honestly really it i mean it's a very easy challenge one i barely needed to make a guide on but i did want to be consistent and uh, you know have a guide for every single one and just show how i did it next week is ascendant challenge three again which means the final two corrupted eggs are going to be live and the second to last speedrun guide will be uploaded sometime next week a lot of people are going to get their curse breaker titles next tuesday and we're also going to get to see what happens when you shoot all 40 corrupted eggs and what happens when you give a small gift to the nine cats i'll of course have a video on the cat reward which I have a feeling is going to be an emblem especially because getting those small gifts and giving them to the cats doesn't take much effort hopefully the emblem if it is actually an emblem is pretty cool cat statue reward all 40 corrupted eggs as a complete guide will go up on Tuesday with the reward that you get at the end of the video the location of the last two eggs in its own video will be live Tuesday as well that secret murder mystery quest might be live next week I, I can't remember if it's the 30th or the 6th there's also only one wish left to find the one of wishes in the raid so that complete wish guide will be going up as soon as that is found there's tons of stuff to look forward to so definitely keep tabs on the channel next week for tons of content thanks guys and have a great one